everybody. Uh, today I'm going to look at the driver's seat, how it swivels around. Uh, now I've shown you this before in, in a video, it might have even been two videos I think, but I've never done one just dedicated to this driver's seat. And this week and last week I've been asked quite a few times by different people either on the phone as well about doing it, so I thought why not, let's do a video on it uh, just to show you on this driver's seat, because it is a bit different to the passenger. So I'm going to show you how you swivel this right around, uh, give you a few tips uh, that I do, and then we'll do the passenger one as well just so we've got both of them. So um, first things first, got to make sure that everything on the vehicle is pushed in. So things like your adjustable steering wheel. So you need to make sure that that's all the way in and push back. It's there. Uh, if you can't do that, it won't be able to come down. Take the handbrake off. So I'll put the handbrake off. That's on the side. Uh, and then you need to move the backrest all the way forward. That's uh, quite key to this. So. Put it all the way down and then uh, pop your armrest down. Uh, and this is my tip for everybody because this is the way I do it from one here as well. Is as a guide, as you move the seat forward to get it in the right position, you want to be able to put your hand in this gap. So when you've got your armrest down, if you can do that, that will now swivel around just like that. Uh, so we'll show you where the catch is at the front. So, this is the catch here, so all you're doing with that catch is pushing it to one side and that releases the locking mechanism and allows it to, to spin round. As you can see it spins round there quite easily. So as I said, I'll do that again. The key thing is, if you can put your hand in this gap here, it will swivel round and it won't catch anything as well. How close it is. So once you spun it around, back to where you were, pull the catch, twirl it back, put your armrest down, and you're good to go. To get it back around the other way is the reverse. So let's say for example you've been sitting on it and obviously you have to bring your backrest down and you might have moved it backwards or forwards and you've lost that position. So when you're doing it the reverse way round, um, basically what you're looking for is at the bottom here. If you have a look down at the bottom, you need those two to match up. So there we go. So if it's like that, you can see, visually see it, press the catch and back round it goes again. The two little things that, that make it a lot easier is if you can get your hand in between the, the B pillar, between this pillar at the side here and the armrest, uh, once it can go in there it can swivel around the one way and then to get it back to swivel around the other way if we just line those two bits up around the plate at the bottom uh, which I showed you on there that will again allow it to spin around the other way uh, and you can always get it backwards and forwards then uh, without having to move it in and out so I hope that's helped on the on the driver's seat we'll just quickly go around on the, doing the passenger one passenger one it's nice and easy on the passenger seat as I said a lot lot easier a lot less things to think about basically pull the seat forward um, press the release underneath turn the seat around and you're good to go. Obviously in this position you can move the seat forward and back if you like to get it a bit more into the cabin, uh, total up to you. Uh, but then obviously to swift it back round again, just pull it all the way back, pull it around and back it goes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As I said, it was a dedicated video on how the driver's seat turns around and those little tips there to help you out and the passenger seat as well. If there's anything you'd like to see a video on uh, similar to this, please pop it in the comments box below. I'm trying my best to get around to as many comments as I can. We have been very busy here at Liverpool uh, recently, so, uh, so thanks for that and uh, we'll see you again.